person shot near the Hippodrome early this morning is Baltimore's second homicide victim of the year. And at this hour, police are still searching for his killer. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live on the scene near Utah and Baltimore streets with reaction. Mike. Nikki, we're in front of a Bank of America ATM. You can see there's still a piece of the crime tape from the scene this morning. We're actually on Utah Street. Just across the street, you can see, is the Hippodrome Theater. At this point, police have not identified the victim. Nine minutes after midnight, shots rang out on North Utah Street. A man died after being struck in the chest. You can hear an officer relay the disturbing details seconds after being notified. The citizen just flagged me now. Somebody got shot at the Hippodrome. We head towards the Hippodrome and check that location. Let me get some more units towards the Hippodrome. Uh, any loss of life is terrible, so, you know, just sad to see it. Shell casings were found near an ATM across the street from the Hippodrome Theater. Police would not confirm reports the victim was robbed while using that ATM. Infinity McLean lives nearby. It's honestly heartless. Um, it's, it's just really sad and devastating that a family has to lose yet another person, especially in the city. It seems like it's a continuous routine. And it's sad because it seems so natural these days where you hear about it and people just kind of shrug it off like, oh, it's just another day, another death. There are many cameras in the area and police use them to track the suspect who fled on foot. They have yet to announce an arrest. It comes as the mayor touted progress in reducing the city's homicides by 20% last year. People just don't respect each other's lives. Danielle says the violence made her think twice before using the ATM here today. Does it feel like things are getting better? If, if you always have to be on the edge, especially when you go into the ATM or even just, you know, out and about, um, no, it's not getting safe, you know, um, and I know that the mayor and, you know, upper, um, the government can only do but so much, but it has to start within the people. Another shooting outside the Hippodrome injured a man in May 2022 while a performance was underway inside. So I do have to kind of like just watch my back and kind of look around a bit before I even do anything. Now, again, the shooting, we believe, happened across the street from the Hippodrome. There were no performances last night. There are no, none tonight. Trevor Noah is expected to be here next week. Reporting live downtown, Mike Helgren, WJZ.